then set you free and give you the, the ability to get out of that chair. Um, and by God's grace, your sin is taken away from you, and you're no longer a slave to sin, you're no longer held there, and God's grace sets you free. I'm going to read from Romans 6 here. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? So like, hey, since God forgives us, every time I sin, God's going to forgive me again. So I keep sinning? Should I sin more so that God can show me more grace? He says, by no means, how can we who died to sin still live? <coughs> do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death. Nor that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the midst of life. So if you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, <coughs> the old you who sat on that chair died. And like Jesus was put in the tomb and raised again in baptism, go into the water and come back up. You're a new person. You're alive again. You can get up off that chair. If you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, but you don't have newness in life, um, God hasn't taken your heart and done as he will. Your heart's still the same. Your actions are still the same. You're still sitting on that chair even though God paid the price and sin and fear have let go of you. You can rededicate your life. You can say, you know, God, I know you've already saved me, but I, need, I want to be made new. I want this newness of life. I want to rededicate my life and get off that chair, start making a change, do what you've called me to do, <coughs> make my heart new, lift my hands, like the psalm said. So I'm going to let you guys know, at any time in camp, you can talk to your leaders. When you get back to your cabin, if you're not a Christian and you want to accept Christ or you want to understand better what that means, talk to them. If you are a Christian and you want to rededicate your life or confess some sin to them or talk to them about getting help, you can do that when you get to your cabin. You can do any of those things while you're walking to your cabin. You can do those things right here in the bench. Uh, if it's really weighing on you, you can turn to your leader right now and tell them, hey, I want to talk to you. Or if you don't want to do that while everyone's quiet, while we're singing, tell them, hey, I want to talk to you. And you can do it right then, or on the way to the cabin, or whatever's more comfortable for you. But accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and living for Him, those are the most important decisions you can make here at camp. And that's all I have to say.